the last video, we introduced the basic hookup of a solar system to charge an e-bike battery where you're dealing with just one solar panel and MPPT charge controller. But in practice, most solar e-bikes or other solar electric vehicles are going to have multiple panels installed on them, either to get sufficient wattage to charge the batteries at the levels that you want, or because of geometric constraints with the lengths and widths of the panels that are available in order to cover the surface area that you have for solar harvesting. So when you're doing a system with multiple panels, there's three basic ways you can go about the wiring. You can connect the panels together in series, where you're connecting the positive of one panel to the negative of the other panel, and have that series string all go to one MPPT. You can also hook up the panels in parallel. In a parallel connection, you're connecting all the positive of the panels together and all the negatives together, and feeding that parallel connection to your charge controller. Or as a third option, you could give every single panel its own dedicated MPPT charge controller. So the series connection is probably the most practical for most people. And when you series connect the panels, you're increasing the voltages, but the amperage that flows through the panels to the charge controller stays the same. So that means that you have reduced amperage into the MPPT, but the voltage going into the MPPT is higher, so you have a less of a step up that the charge controller needs to do to raise the voltage from the panel voltage to the battery voltage. When you're doing a series hookup like this, it's important that all the cells are more or less of the same type. You can't series connect a panel that has, say, a 6 amp charge short circuit current with another panel that has a 4 amp or 3 amp short circuit current. It's also really important in a series connection that the total voltage of all the panels together in series is less than the battery voltage. So if you have a panel with an open circuit voltage of say 27 volts and you want to charge a 36 volt battery, you're not able to wire them in series because your series panels are going to be higher than the battery voltage and the MPPT charge controller will not function. It requires that the panel voltage is less than the battery voltage. The series connection does allow you to mix and match panels of different voltages though, as long as the short circuit circuit current is the same. Now if you do a parallel hookup, now you're connecting all the negatives together and all the positives together, and in this arrangement it's essential of course that every single panel has the same voltage. You don't want to parallel connect a higher voltage panel with a lower voltage panel, and in practice that means you're only really parallel connecting identical solar panels with the same geometry. Now this parallel connection doesn't have the voltage limitation that you run into with series connected panels, but it does have a different limitation which is the total current flowing. Each time you put another panel in, in parallel, you're adding to the current that's flowing into the MPPT charge controller. Higher current means that you have more losses through the wiring, and it also may exceed the limit of what the charge controller can do. Now as an example of this, the popular Jenison boost charge controllers have a very clearly specified 8 amp maximum input current. Now, the solar panels that we typically deal with have a 6 amp short circuit current, and that means you can never actually parallel connect two panels with the Jenison charge controller, because you're going to be well over that 8 amp max input. Now, the last hookup that we'll discuss is an independent MPPT for every single solar panel. This is by far the most versatile approach. You can mix and match panels of different voltages, different current ratings, and no matter what the sun conditions or partial shade on one panel or the other, you're always going to be harvesting the maximum theoretical possible energy of the panels with their given shade levels that are on them. The downside, of course, is that this is going to cost more. You need an MPPT for every solar panel, and you also have more wiring going from all the MPPTs to parallel connect their outputs into the battery pack. So now we're going to head down and compare each of these different hookup styles on our solar electric sailboat, where you can see the actual output change as we configure between the series parallel and independent configurations. So here we are in our sailboat, we're in my rear panel assembly, I've got three panels, each of them 170 watts nominal, and I've wired these to the boat, each with its own MPPT charge controller. But it gives us an opportunity to change the wiring configuration to redo their hookup to be series or parallel. So to facilitate that, I've got a parallel connection wiring plug, as well as a series plug hookup, so we can quickly swap it between those different arrangements, where we're looking in real time at the wattage that this panel is producing into the battery pack. So if we look at the specs on each of these panels, they have an open circuit voltage of 34.6 volts, and they have a short circuit current of 6 amps. Now, I'm running a 72 volt battery, so that allows me to safely wire two of these in series. But I couldn't hook all three of them up in series, because that would put 100 volts of panel voltage, which would exceed the battery voltage and, of course, the rating of the boost charge controller. So we're going to start off looking at the output as they've hooked up now, where each panel has its own MPPT device. And let's angle this to be favorable to the sun. Let's hope it stays at that angle. 
and what we see now is 210 watts of combined output from both panels. So now I'm going to unplug this connection and join them both in parallel to a single MPPT device. So now we're going to have 12 amps of current flowing um, and the charge controller is going to see that same 34 volts open circuit or 30 volts at its boost. And what we get now is 206 watts. So the output is a little bit lower in this parallel arrangement and that's predominantly because this is quite a long cable run and it's not a heavy gauge cable. I'm running 14 gauge wire and it's probably about 20 feet to reach this point to the charge controller in the boat and now that I've doubled the amperage in there I've increased by a factor of four the amount of losses that we have through the copper wiring. So in the final hookup we're going to connect these panels in series so we're still going to just one MPPT device um, but we have both panels feeding into it from a series rather than a parallel connection. So in this case, I'm going to have upwards of 70 volts from the panels um, now charging this 72 volt battery. So in this system, we're now getting 230 watts, so even a higher output than we had with the independent MPPTs. Part of that is because our total wiring losses are less. There's only a single cable that has the 6 amps of current flowing through it rather than two cables like when we had them together. And it also means that the MPPT itself is running at a slightly higher efficiency than two of them with a lower input voltage and a higher step up voltage difference. So that's what happens when we have full sunlight on the panels with no shade obstructing any one of the cells on either of the panels in the arrangement. But the performance differences between these different setups changes quite a bit more when you have shadow covering one panel but not the other panel. And now we're going to repeat that same test. We're going to add shade to one panel and in practice you get this a lot especially on something like a boat where you have masts or other tall structures in the near vicinity to the panels themselves. So we're sitting now at about 210 watts and that drops our output down to it's about 168, 170 watts when we have both panels each with their own MPPT. Now we're going to reconfigure these and connect them in series to see how the output varies in that case. So here's my convenient series adapter. And now with the panel series connected to a single MPPT, we see the charge outputs hovering around uh, 148, 150, it's about 150 watts. So not as efficient as each one with its own MPPT, but still not too bad, especially since that greatly simplifies the wiring and our cost. And now we're going to see what would happen if we had a parallel hookup to a single MPPT. So swat out the series adapter for the parallel adapter. of course means twice the amperage flowing through all of this wiring and in this parallel configuration we're seeing ah, 150 pretty much exactly the same as we had in the series setup. Um, so here you see it illustrated that giving each panel its own MPPT does help a little bit in the performance when you have shade in the panel system um, but not to a huge degree. So I was actually quite surprised to see how well it worked even in the series of parallel configuration so based on that data, here's my recommendation. Assuming that you've got identical solar panels, then hook them up in series as long as the combined series voltage is going to be less than the battery pack voltage. If the combined voltage is going to be higher than the battery voltage, then you can hook up the panels in parallel as well. Just make sure that you size your wiring gauge appropriately for the heavier current that you get with the parallel outputs. Also make sure that the MPPT can handle the combined amperage as well. Now if you really want to get the maximum solar harvest when you're dealing in all kinds of varying shade conditions, nothing's going to top having a separate MPPT per panel. And, uh, and as you can see here, that did give us slightly higher solar output. But for most people, I don't think that the difference in the output is quite going to justify the additional cost of having to have separate MPPTs per panel like this. Now, of course, if you're dealing with panels that have different voltages, then your only option is a series connection. And if you're dealing with panels from different manufacturers uh, with different uh, current ratings, then of course series connection isn't a possibility and you can only parallel them if they have exactly the same open circuit voltage. So in those situations, definitely an independent MPPT is going to be the way to go.